We've always been told that bad bacteria are to blame for all dental diseases, but upon a closer look, scientists have realized that the real root cause of gum disease is the lack of good bacteria. The population of good bacteria is destroyed by common dental products that contain toxic ingredients. This explains why teeth can thrive for thousands of years outside of the mouth, while in our mouth they get ruined by plain chocolate. In order to rebuild your teeth and gums, you need to repopulate your mouth with good bacteria and provide a healthy environment for the strains to grow in. During one of our consultations, Sam wanted to show me something. It was a picture from a newspaper. Look, Doc, they've dug up a pair of 2,500-year-old teeth, and they look way better than mine. Those bastards didn't even know what a toothbrush is. After having a chuckle about it, it suddenly hit me. How come teeth can thrive for hundreds of years outside of the mouth in mud and dirt, while in the mouth they get ruined by plain chocolate? A tooth is said to be tougher than a diamond and cannot be destroyed in fire, but it gets stained by coffee? I had a hunch I was on to something, so I went back to the drawing board. What I knew was this. One, our ancestors, despite not brushing their teeth with toothpaste or going to the dentist, had better teeth than ours. Two, if you take a tooth out of the mouth, it will last for centuries, but in the mouth it can get ruined in a couple of years. Three, most probably at one point, modern people took a wrong turn when it came to dental care, something that is making our teeth more frail than ever. What was that wrong turn? That's when I came across a little-known study that flipped everything dentists claim about gum disease, one that also shed light on what exactly is eating at your gums and teeth as we speak. Listen, you've probably been told that bad bacteria is to blame for all dental diseases, and that you need to take antibiotics, go through annoying scaling, and disinfect as much as you can to keep your mouth clean. But about two years ago, upon a closer look, Scientists have realized that bad bacteria is not the real root cause of gum disease. Actually, gum disease and other dental disorders happen not when there are too many bad bacteria, but when there are too few good bacteria. You probably know about the gut flora or gut microbiome. It refers to all the bacteria, good and bad, and other organisms that live inside the intestines. Imagine this like a constant war between the police and thugs. The thugs, the bad bacteria, are always looking to make a mess of everything, while the good cops try to keep order and control. But they can't do that if they are outnumbered. So the more good bacteria strains you have, the better your digestion. It's the same with the mouth flora or mouth microbiome. The moment this idea got out, it started a serious fight between scientists and dentists from all over the world. This big fight is known as the germ theory versus the terrain theory. The germ theory says that the bad germs are what we need to worry about and we need to keep finding ways to kill them off. This, of course, involves repeated visits to the doctor, pills, and a pile of dental care products. I think there's no need for me to mention this idea was supported by dentists. On the other hand, the terrain theory argues that if the mouth environment is well and balanced, then germs that are a natural part of life and the environment will be dealt with by the body without causing sickness. And this terrain, or environment, is created by the good bacteria. In fact, the Journal of the American Dental Association, JADA, declared that, in the case of periodontal disease, there is not one specific bad bacteria that causes it. Instead, it's all about how strong the community of good bacteria is when germs or viruses attack. So even if you were to exterminate all these bad germs, if there is no good bacteria to rebuild, nourish your gums and teeth and keep them safe, it's all in vain. If you had these good bacteria in your mouth to begin with, any microbe or germs wouldn't have stood a chance in the first place. Plus, let me tell you this, whoever promises you they will completely get you rid of bad bacteria or germs is lying. Maybe this can be done temporarily, but we are human beings. We eat food from the market, we socialize, we travel. We cannot live in a completely sterile bubble for all our lives. Eventually, these germs will come back again. That is why evolution equipped us with good bacteria. And that's why a healthy mouth should have very diverse and numerous good bacteria strains. You should find them on the tongue, the hard palate, the teeth, the area around the tooth surfaces, above the gums, and below the gums. Something that almost no doctor will tell you is that the oral bacteria affects not only your teeth and gums, 
but also your entire health. Actually, every time you swallow, you are seeding your gastrointestinal tract with bacteria, fungi, and viruses from your mouth, 140 billion per day to be exact. That's right, every sip or bite affects how healthy you are, what diseases you have, and how those diseases will progress. So can you imagine how much of your gut bacteria actually comes from your mouth? Truth is, your whole body mirrors what is happening in your mouth, and your mouth mirrors what is happening in your body. A gum issue is rarely, if ever, just a gum issue. And it's only normal if you think about it. The mouth is literally the front door of your body. Even the air you breathe passes through the back of your mouth before reaching your lungs. Imagine if your front door is open and dirty. All of the dirt will end up eventually in your living room, and it will soon have all sorts of things growing in it. So many diseases are linked to poor mouth flora, from IBS to cardiovascular disorders and anxiety and depression. Moreover, a 2009 study suggests obesity begins with the oral flora. Over 98% of the women with obesity studied shared similar microbiomes. And it doesn't stop here. While you swallow plenty of bacteria that end up in your gut, part of them crawl down your throat, causing respiratory infections, and up your sinuses, causing allergies, sinusitis, headaches, and migraines. Your bloodstream is also a convenient form of transport. Each time you chew, brush, or floss, bad germs get pushed into small vessels in your gums. As oral bacteria breaks into the bloodstream, it can travel to organs throughout the body, including the brain. According to a new study published in the journal Science Advances, bacteria normally present in the mouth can also release toxins that make their way into the brain. Once there, they may contribute to memory disorders. I know it sounds scary, but there's one way to prevent all of that, by diversifying and increasing the population of good bacteria in your mouth. Literally, get more good cops in to keep everything in good working order. In fact, Alex Mira, a bacterial geneticist at the Fisabio Research Institute in Valencia, Spain, says that as humans evolved, they, like many other mammals, outsourced a good part of the body's processes to the good bacteria. For example, transporting crucial minerals from saliva to the teeth to aid in remineralization, carrying molecular oxygen to feed the gums and soft tissue, and eliminating free radicals and other waste products from the foods we ingest. In addition to these important functions, the good oral bacteria play a vital role in protecting us from harmful environmental organisms, chemicals, and toxins. They even regulate blood pressure. Our body doesn't have the enzymes to do any of the things mentioned above. We entirely rely on our mouth flora, and without them, our health would be out of control. So I cannot state enough how crucial good bacteria strains are. Healing the mouth flora helps heal the body and vice versa. Now the only question I needed to answer in order to uncover the real root cause of gum disease was, what destroys the good oral bacteria and doesn't allow the strains to grow back? After digging even deeper, I found the shocking answer. It's the very things that promise to save you from it. Dental products and procedures. Our teeth are constantly under the attack of the dental care chemicals. For example, let's take the most popular dental care product, the toothpaste. Did you know a lot of toothpaste brands are detergent-based? That's right. These toothpastes are trying to remove grime off your teeth by the same aggressive procedures that bleach removes stains off your white t-shirt. Sure, the stain is removed, but also the fabric is weakened. Tens of studies have proved that a lot of big oral care brands contain hidden chemicals, but they have been ignored or worse, buried by corporate lawyers willing to protect the profits. Do yourself a favor today. Check all the products you use and immediately throw away the ones that contain one or more of the following ingredients. Sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS. Sodium fluoride. Triclosan. Artificial sweeteners such as sodium saccharin, aspartame, xylitol, and erythritol. Artificial color dyes, often made from coal tar. Propylene glycol. Diethanolamine, DEA. Microbeads, tiny solid plastic particles. The good bacteria is always trying to repopulate, but using these oral care products is like pouring bleach in your garden and expecting to get nice plants growing there. The bacteria just never grows in a balanced way. Sometimes one bacteria strain might grow, sometimes another, sometimes a third. But the problem is healing bacteria strains can't grow all together at once for months in a row and support each other in creating a varied, safe flora for your gums and teeth. 
If that wasn't enough, some toothpastes use abrasives to be effective. The abrasives used, such as hydrated silica, are too rough. These ingredients can strip away the enamel, creating sensitivity and gum recession. Don't rely on your mouthwash either, especially if it contains alcohol. In fact, honest dentists don't even recommend mouthwash as part of a daily dental routine because many brands have an active ingredient called chlorhexidine that wipes out beneficial microbes. A 2020 study showed that healthy people who rinsed with chlorhexidine mouthwash experienced more acidity in the mouth and were more inclined to higher blood pressure. Considering all these, the immune system of your mouth, the oral flora, is almost non-existent. The result? You get cavities, inflamed gums, bad breath, and eventually lose your teeth. So what can you do? Should you stop washing your teeth and never touch toothpaste again? Certainly not. Toothpaste has its undeniable benefits. It helps remove part of the plaque and its bacterial buildup on teeth. If you use a natural toothpaste, one that does not contain chemical ingredients, the damage to the good bacteria is minimal. But even if you choose the best non-invasive dental products starting today, the bacteria strains are still incredibly weakened and need time to recover. However, there are two factors that make it hard or even impossible for this to happen. First one is stress. Stress causes a major decrease in salivary flow. Saliva is the lifeblood of the mouth. Stress, together with the lack of good bacteria, causes a shift in the pH to a more acidic environment that corrodes the gums and promotes unhealthy grinding and clenching of teeth and jaw discomfort. Grinding or clenching puts an enormous amount of pressure on the teeth and can often cause a tooth to become loose, especially when there's an underlying problem like infection or decay. So while you sleep, there's a risk of losing one of your teeth. The second culprit is salt. Your gums are like the skin. They can peel, become dry or loose, get inflamed, crack, or change color. Too much salt will cause dehydration, dryness, bleeding, and receding gums. And today's processed foods are loaded with salt. Before telling you the only method that can rebuild the mouth microbiome, here's a quick tip to help you remineralize your gums and teeth, at least temporarily. Chew sugar-free gum. If you're still in doubt whether your oral microbiome is poor and you lack good bacteria, all you have to do is answer one of these questions. First question, have you ever woken up on different days with either a dry mouth or drooling on the pillow or a stuffy nose or a dry throat? And the second question, do you also have digestive issues like bloating or IBS or are you also dealing with allergies and or headaches? If you answered yes at least once, this is proof that your oral flora is out of balance and your gums, teeth, and the rest of your body are constantly under attack with very little protection. I mean, just imagine toxic chemicals viciously corroding at your teeth, burning your gums while destroying every single strain of bacteria, allowing germs and viruses to multiply by thousands every single second, and crawl up your nose and down your throat, causing inflammation, irritation, and pain, affecting your brain and digestion, leaving you prone to allergies. I know this is a pretty intense picture, but it is extremely important that you see and feel what exactly is happening at this very moment not only to your gums, but also to your entire body. Because once you do, the solution becomes clear as daylight. I know that's a big thing to say, but I will prove to you this very moment how true it is. What you need to do is repopulate your mouth with good bacteria and create a healthy environment for those thousands of diverse, healing strains to grow. The moment your teeth and gums won't be under constant chemical attack, the regrowing and rejuvenation process will start. Your gums will stop bleeding. They will regain their pink color and firmly reattach to your teeth. Every tooth will be cleared of cavities and stains, becoming whiter. Plus, remember, every time you swallow, you are seeding your gastrointestinal tract with over 140 billion bacteria and fungi per day. Sending good bacteria down the intestinal or respiratory tract will also improve your overall health. You will breathe better, clear your throat, free your sinuses, and free yourself from allergies and headaches. You will get a restful sleep, feel more relaxed, and enjoy a better digestion. In theory, it makes a lot of sense, right? But how exactly do we do that? Well, the first thing one might think of is taking probiotics. At least this is what you hear everyone recommend when there is a flora imbalance, especially in the gut. And I admit, this was also what I thought in the beginning. The only thing is, not all probiotics are the same. And not all probiotics are good for all diseases. Just like you cannot take the same pill for a toothache and bad digestion. The probiotics that you usually find on the market are mostly designed for the gut. But when it comes to the teeth, you need completely different strains of bacteria. Now, let's say you do not find probiotics for teeth. Unfortunately, most of the time, 
The strains in your supplements are already dead because of poor packaging and handling, meaning you're ingesting dead bacteria that have no effect whatsoever. Secondly, in order to sell more, probiotic brands add as many strains as possible inside the formula without making sure if they interact well with one another. Too many strains only confuses your body, and if the bacteria strains are not compatible, they create a new war zone inside your mouth. Then, studies show that 96% of the live probiotics are being killed by your saliva and stomach acid. Keep in mind that your saliva might be more acidic than normal because of the dental care chemicals. Last but not least, you take a probiotic pill that goes directly to your stomach, and then what should you do? Hope that the 4% of the bacteria that were not destroyed by stomach juices should find a way to climb back again to your mouth? For me at least, prescribing to Sam some random probiotics that might or might not be what his gums and teeth needed just wasn't an option. But I knew I hadn't gone so far just to stop there. I realized that the only way I'd know for sure there's an oral bacteria strain formulation that worked as powerfully as all the studies indicated was for me to be the first one who creates it. This formula had to reintroduce only the most potent strains of probiotics to rebalance the mouth microbiome and stop the erratic growth of viruses, fungi, and germs at once. It also had to help the mouth produce more saliva, which is like giving flowers the water they need. In turn, this had to clear the damaging effects of dental care products and antibiotics. And as I said, once the microbiome of the mouth is restored, teeth and gums have the perfect environment to start healing themselves. So I gathered a team of medical researchers and chemists that would help me find the exact bacteria strains that would do just that. And after continuous months of testing, they came up with a breakthrough five strains that had repeatedly proven their amazing ability to crush periodontis in tens of clinical trials. And I am going to tell you immediately what those ingredients are, how they work, and how easy it is for you to get them today. The first one is Lactobacillus ruteri, or as we named it, the fireman, as it puts out inflammation and stops the damage done by toxins. This amazing strain can produce antimicrobial molecules that inhibit the reproduction of any bad bacteria by a whopping 86%, according to the scientists from Sao Paulo State University. This bacteria is so potent that it's considered a medical wonder. Even dead, it can increase the healing time by 46%. To date, over 220 clinical studies with L. ruteri strains have been performed in approximately 19,000 people of all ages. Positive results have been shown for oral health and several gastrointestinal disorders. So many studies are almost unheard of in the scientific world. Next, we decided to bring in Lactobacillus paracasei, a tough special agent. It kickstarts the recovery process by clearing your mouth of Streptococcus mutans, the main bacteria that causes tooth decay, as well as mercilessly wiping out harmful toxins and stopping their spread. What Streptococcus mutans does is bind to your teeth and convert any sugar you eat into acid. This acid, combined with the chemicals from the dental care products, corrode your gums day and night. It's not a pretty sight, but L. paracasei has the power to put an end to it almost immediately. In fact, due to its ability in preventing cavities and gingivitis and substantially reducing bad breath, some researchers have even questioned if taking this probiotic could be more effective than traditional methods, such as toothbrushing and eating a low-sugar diet. L. paracasei also reduces allergy effects, suppresses airway inflammation, and at least five clinical studies have demonstrated significant improvements in allergic rhinitis. After stopping the spread of harmful bacteria and toxins and deeply cleaning the entire oral cavity, we needed to start the rebuilding of teeth and gums. Bifidobacterium lactis is a strain that has been called the Mary Poppins of probiotics because it is incredibly nurturing. It spreads up the absorption of various vitamins and minerals, allowing nutrients to enter the cells for more strength and rejuvenation. Bifidobacterium lactis also significantly enhances gum pocket closure helping with the reattachment of gums and therefore strengthening loose teeth. During medical experiments, this super strain reduced periodontal inflammation and prevented tooth bone loss. Quite impressive, right? Let's move to the most unique bacteria that we've discovered, BLIS K12. What makes it so special is that it was developed by a group of scientists at the University of Otago in New Zealand specifically to help support and maintain the immune system health of the oral cavity, ear, and nose and throat. Studies have indicated its incredible efficiency right away. Barry Richardson of BLIS Technologies said, We have seen that BLIS K12 probiotic is very effective at establishing itself inside the mouth and throat. 
This is important because BLIS K-12 has evolved a number of defense mechanisms, meaning this strain can fight long-term against any future toxins, chemicals, and germs you might come in contact with. This is like getting a 24-7 bodyguard for your gums and teeth. We were extremely excited when we managed to add to our formula another little-known strain called BLIS M18. Have you ever wondered how some people have naturally white teeth no matter what they drink or eat? Well, as it turns out, they are born with these less common bacteria in their systems, BLIS M18. BLIS M18 has the rare ability of preventing and even removing tooth staining while keeping plaque at bay. Imagine you have a troop of professional teeth cleaners always at your disposal. Wouldn't that be great? The fact that we found a way to make BLIS M18 accessible for anyone, no matter their genetics, was a huge step forward for us. And after cleaning the teeth and gums of toxins, bad bacteria, stains, and rebuilding everything in a nourishing, protective environment, there was one more thing we needed to take care of. Make sure the balance of the mouth flora is never disrupted again. That is why we added B. lactis BL04, a strain specifically designed to support the balance of gut and mouth bacteria even during and after aggressive antibiotics treatments. Additionally, these probiotics were fully supporting the respiratory tract, the immune system, and during trials, they showed a significant reduction in the body mass index of subjects, as well as in the levels of bad cholesterol. In total, there were 3.8 billion bacteria ready to save Sam from his life of disease. However, we couldn't go forward with our formula without adding inulin, a prebiotic that acts like a fuel, feeding and empowering the bacteria strains, increasing their number quickly in as little as three to four days. We also couldn't leave out strawberries, which contain the tooth whitening enzyme of malic acid, which can do wonders for your smile without the harmful chemicals and high cost of formal dental work. One ingredient that we also thought essential, dicalcium phosphate, a superior form of the mineral calcium, your body can't tell the difference between dicalcium phosphate and real teeth, which means it immediately uses it to create a layer that reduces tooth sensitivity. Ultimately, we mix peppermint to cool off inflammation and soothe tooth pain and spearmint for fresh breath. After finally having all these strains, plants, and minerals together, we realized one more thing. Putting them in a pill that would have gone directly to the stomach after barely touching the mouth would have compromised all their properties and all our hard work. You see, good bacteria become activated and fully metabolically active only when they come in contact with the saliva. This way, they can start to colonize faster and overcome the rapid spread of chemicals and germs. That's when we decided the gum healing recipe should come in the form of a unique mineral probiotic candy that softly melts in your mouth. As you can see, this soft sugar-free candy is far from your average candy. It is a dental candy specifically designed to trigger and dramatically increase the production of salivary glands, fuel the saliva with multiplying probiotics, and help all ingredients reach every single corner of the mouth in record time. Letting one mineral probiotic candy melt in your mouth for a couple of minutes should be enough to have a great impact. You can use it in the morning, right after brushing. This way, the bacteria strains activate the second they reach the mouth where conditions are moist and warm. The longer you let it melt in your mouth before swallowing, the more effective it will be. Of course, you can also treat it as you would do with a candy and just suck on it until it's gone. That still guarantees you maximum effects. Don't worry, even though it is sugar-free, it still has a pleasant strawberry aroma. We were extremely proud of our work, but the hardest part was just beginning. It took months of planning and negotiation and logistics to put it all together. Luckily, I was able to lean on my background in medicine, all of my connections with some of the best manufacturers in the world. So after several months of testing until dawn, every possible interaction between the formula compounds and the saliva, and after making sure we got the right quantities and the most effective combination of compounds, what my team and I consider to be the most powerful gum and teeth restoring solution in the world finally saw the light of the day in one small but extremely promising batch. That all sounds good, but what are the actual results, you might wonder? Of course, the first person to try it was Sam. All he had to do was to let one soft probiotic candy melt in his mouth every morning for a couple of minutes. Even with his bad teeth and gums, he could do this easily. After the first few days, he didn't really feel much and we were all a bit discouraged, not going to lie. But soon enough, when he woke up one morning, Sam could feel something had clearly changed. He called us to say that, for the first time in years, he wasn't spitting blood anymore. 
not even a pinkish shade on the toothpaste. Then, one day after another, we would receive what we called miracle messages. How part of his plaque had disappeared, how his teeth looked whiter, how stunned he was when he gently tried pushing and pulling on his loose tooth and discovered that they were cemented back and strong. Moreover, he could feel his sinuses clearing up, he could breathe freely, sleep like a baby, and his brain fog was fading away. The best news, his breath didn't smell like rotten eggs anymore. Since each daily report exceeded even our wildest dreams, it was clear to us that we couldn't keep this life-saving treatment all to ourselves. 